shooting now some 12 hours ago. The investigation continuing this morning. New at this hour, a crime scene cleanup truck has arrived on scene at the Costco where the shooting took place where one person was tragically killed. Two others were injured, including we've learned an off-duty officer and a suspected gunman also hurt and that person is in custody. Now let me show you some video from the aftermath last night. This all happened around 7:45 in the evening. Uh, this is the Costco on McKinley and it sent terrified shoppers running for the doors as witnesses say they heard six to eight gunshots ring out. The shooting happened, we're told, near the meat department in the back of the store. Police tell KTLA they believe it was an argument between strangers that escalated into a shooting. Why? What was the motive? They aren't saying. We also know that off-duty officer was directly involved, but we don't know exactly how. As shoppers ran or tried to hide and seek cover, one woman capturing on her cell phone some of those moments inside the store. <laughs> what happened? They are shooting in Costco. Well, let's go. You could go. Taylor, we are not going to move from right here. So you can hear some of the chaotic scenes, some of the confusion, and the mother who shot that she was shopping with her daughter, they said that they hit the floor when this all happened. New at this hour, uh, we have been seeing people coming trying to reclaim their belongings. We spoke to a man who just ditched his stroller as he and his family ran for the doors after hearing gunshots. Listen to what he said. They were screaming, they were just running, there were little kids running around also. I mean, I saw some people pull over and, and you know, they're trying to get their kids. It was just, it was scary. No one expects these kinds of things to happen at the store, especially at Costco. So, yeah, we're, we're still in a little bit of shock. <laughs> So clearly people shaken up by all of this. Now, the Costco store will not open at 930, but they say it may open sometime today. It just all depends on the investigation and now apparently the cleanup. The victims who were injured, we don't know the extent of their injuries or their condition, and the coroner's office has not released the name of that victim who died, nor do we know who that suspect in custody is, though he has been described as a man in his 20s or 30s with a mohawk.